everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. In this episode, we wrapped up the quest line for, for uh, the Brotherhood of Steel and and from here on out, uh, Hardin is going to be the Elder of the Brotherhood. After I showed off both endings for um, both potential uh, choices or outcomes for the Brotherhood of Steel, rather between Hardin and and McNamara. I, in this version, we, I got as far as, as giving the air filtration components to Knight Lorenzo, oh, and then put Elder Harden here in charge. Did his quest line of killing the Van Graaff, uh, and we got both companions alive this time. And otherwise, from here on out, this is going to be the result. With that out of the way. The next order of business, I would like to believe, is is getting out the. Since we got little more to do here, other than like maybe so, um, check out a vendor or something, in case we want like. Actually, yeah, let's do that real quick. Open map. Position. There's a shop around here that... There's a shop around here that I want to check out. See what they have to offer. No. Not that way. These bunkers and bases that are always mazes. Wait, is it even over here? Or don't is it in this area? That's fast. Another bathroom. Keep an eye on Veronica here. She's a sharp. If by sharp you mean so sarcastic, yes, then she's probably one of the sharpest people around. But there's more to her than being sarcastic. That much it should be obvious. Here we are. At least with the lockdown lifted, I'll be able to resupply my store more often. So what are you here for? I think she skipped the line where she says, I can't believe Harden is elder now. Hmm. Anything I could help you with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. I could try looking around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Okay, so she gave us a little... Oh no, let's look at that. Knight Taurus is in Hidden Valley and wants me to find a laser pistol that's gone missing. First thing to do is speak with the... Speak with the paladin in charge of the firing range to see the, if he remembers who, had, who was using it. In the meantime... The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Show me what you've got for sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Ooh, ballistic fist. Ouch. Hold on, let me... Grease lightning and other... Whoa! 15,654 caps! Yay! Grenade machine gun. I'm not mistaken, that could 
that can rapid fire their, their grenade. It's like a, it can, it's like a grenade launcher, but it's got a rapid fire, hence the machine gun part. Ugh. Some of these weapons get super expensive. Oh, this is the this is part of the GRA Gunrunner's Arsenal. In case it wasn't all, I'm not sure if this was a thing before, but the Gunrunner's Arsenal is one of the two little mini DLC things, along with the courier stash that like it, you can buy and the Gunrunner's Arsenal random special weapon things like this can be. Found and bought at various vendors, there's and salespeople, merchants, whatever, or throughout the, the Mojave. The, and and you'll know them when you see them because as they because they've always put the very hard to miss GRA right next to them. Dad, they have super expensive prices too. Bye. Hold on, there's a... Hold on, there's going to be a cut in the video, and when I come back, heck, I'll, I'll be com I'll be coming back with a, with a bunch of stuff I can sell to see if I can get better prices. And so with that, give me a moment. Okay, we are back. I... Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Sorry, I haven't found it yet. Then we have nothing further to talk about. Um, show me what you got for sale. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Yeah, I went back and, and got some stuff I wanted to sell off to really help buffer the prices. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Time for me to go. Later. Oh yeah, th it's this. Like, in case you can, I don't know if you can see it. But the ballistic fist has a kind of shotgun attachment on the forearm, and it has a a little trigger plate on the and it has a trigger plate on the knuckles, 
so when you throw a punch, the shotgun shoots. Evening. Um, yeah, there you go. This Ooh, weapon is that I... something good for me? Is it a dress? I got something better than a dress, Veronica. I'm going to be giving that to Veronica because she likes unarmed weapons and... And I... Uh, it might as well give it to... She would probably be... She likes unarmed weapons and she'd probably be, be, make better use of it than me. But with that, we've done pretty much everything that we can with the Brotherhood of Steel, at least for the moment. And so, without further ado, we'll be making our... I completely forgot that side quest that she, that woman asked me about. charge of the firing range. Let me just equip the one thing. The gauze rifle is a is a sniper rifle. What's the sample type? MF cell. Micro fuse. I'm not going to be using it, it's an energy weapon, and I'm not going to be using it myself, but with any luck, I'll try, hey, giving that to Boone the next time he's in the party, when we eventually get around to that point. Wait, I'm getting lost. Hello. It's this way. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. You know anything about a weapon that's gone missing? Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. Real quick, am I allowed to use the range? Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. Okay. See you around. Bye. Have you found it? What's the guy's name? Stanton? Rock up, please. And by the way, uh, the, um... McNamara's done a pretty good job, given the situation he was handed. It's not broken power armor, it's broken electrical fixtures. This is an... this quest I'm doing is an unmarked Even. quest. Yes, can I help you? There you are. Yeah. You're the last one to check out uh, the missing laser pistol. Hello, right? Or, I'm trying to help Taurus find a missing laser pistol. Have you seen it? No, no idea. Oh. Sorry. Bye. Yes, can I help you? Hold on. You're the last one to check out the missing laser pistol, right? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice. But before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Why do the records show that the gun was turned back in? Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. 
That girl is nothing but trouble. Still, I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty. But I will if you don't help me find that gun. Dude, I'll stick your head in the toilet wire myself, you bum. Can you? Can I just get you another laser pistol? No. Weapon checking protocol includes verifying the serial number of the weapon, so a different gun would be noticed. Plus, having a new gun suddenly show up would immediately point to you, being the only outsider around here and all. No. The only way I have out of this is if you help me find that gun. You'll help me, right? Fine, I'll go get that gun for you. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. Why am I having it? What? What's that? Pulls out a laser pistol? Or were they talking about a plasma pistol? I honestly. All I know is that it's some kind of an energy pistol. Maybe I'm just paying. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Nearby, a valley full of scorpions is where it's supposed to be. This area is alright for scorpions. Or, he didn't specifically say valley called it a gulf but whatever similar enough synonyms Wait, this hang towards Black Mountain. I don't believe that's correct. Watch out!
Hey. If I don't find it, need it soon, I'm going to do a cut. Okay, I'm gonna do another cut here. I'll come back when I you find the. Like, I'll find. I'll come back when I find the pistol. But in the meantime, I'll be doing this. I'll look for it off screen. Okay, I found it. Stuck in the ground, but if the scorpion's body can't handle being stuck in the ground, but so it's trying to push itself upwards to get out of the ground, but it can't move from being in the ground, so it keeps stretching like that. Ah, oh, this game's glitchy sometimes, but still a great game, even if stuff like that happens. Back to what we were doing. That's who this guy was. Dad, the cat. The missing laser pistol. Come on. 
Call me lazy, I'll fast. I'll just fast. Maybe it's time for me to at least temporarily retire the the nine millimeter submachine gun. And because I can see I'm getting low on ammo. Twenty-three spare bullets at the side once it's split. I wasn't crouching, I didn't even notice. Wait. Ugh. Hey, so Harden becoming Elder was because of you, huh? Good job! Now that the lockdown is lifted, I may get a chance to get into a real fight. I wonder what it'll be against. Raiders? Rad Scorpions? Death claws. Oh, I can't wait. So what's up? Oh dear God, you do not want to get in a fight with a death claw. It will be the death of you unless you're extremely skilled in battle and prepared. This is. Oh, Watkins. It's her. I wasn't paying attention to the name. This is Stanton. Told me about your little adventure the other day. That was so much fun. The wind whipping through our hair, not knowing what was going to jump out at us at any moment. And when those scorpions came out, it was just like The Sims. All I had to do was line them up and then squeeze the trigger. I doubt I'll be able to get Stanton to go with me again, though. I thought he'd enjoy it as much as I did, but he was just scared the whole time. Don't tell him I told you this, but when those scorpions surrounded us, I'd bet a week's rations he pissed himself. Okay, so... She seems easily excitable about exploring. Anyway, let's get going. Bye. Seems Bye. weird that like her voice seems to change in between like her talking regularly and that bye. Okay, I'm getting lost. You know I have some bad direction, but dang, I get lost sometimes. Jesus, sometimes I think I couldn't. I'd get lost if you put. Doc Shuler is a map. lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day and she fixed me right up. Why'd you pull your gun out? Think, expecting something to happen, pal? Anyway. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Stop talking about it. I got it right here. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. And she gives us try the laser, her pistol, and, and Brotherhood's steel thing. Later. And I became over encumbered because of that. Thanks. Try beam laser right Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Oh, hold on to that. Yeah, that's good. And with that, as far as I'm aware, we have done everything. We have done everything that we could with the Brotherhood of Steel, at least for the time being. And now, truly, without further ado, we can leave the Brotherhood, 
the steel to go to other things. And speaking of which, the next order of business that I would like to do is do any side quest. We can we can have a choice between turning turning back and bringing him to Lorenzo O2 who examined Eddie for, for the information he has, or we can take him to the followers of the apocalypse in Freeside. And from what I... And from the opinions that... From the feedback that I asked for, the, cho the choices that between the two choices is is um it was chosen that so um, Eddie should be taken to the followers of the apocalypse. We are the guys this Ow! Back up! Something good for me? Is it a dress? While I'm here, I should probably. If it little... can be bought, it can be found. It. What are you doing? Here? Thanks, Mister. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Still where my player home is for the time. The old Mormon fort. Some, some individuals, I think, can read all that. Hey. I hear you've done some good things for the followers. That looks really pale. Keep an eye out for trouble. The NCR is fortunate to have your support. Yeah, he's still there. April Martimer. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. 
What are you going to do with Eddie? First, I'm going to pull off whatever log data I can. Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Shouldn't be more than a few days' work. What would you like it for? I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon energy technology. I'd like to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity. All of humanity, unlike the Brotherhood. Why don't you want the Brotherhood to have it? The Brotherhood is all about keeping technology to themselves and using what they find to protect themselves. They are isolationist and belligerent. I have no doubt that they plan to use the data for weapons research. But you just said you can increase Eddie's weapons to... with the research that you get. Okay. Can you tell me... How about you tell me more about the followers before we decide anything? There are plenty of people here to talk to you about us and our mission. Let's get to brass tacks and talk about that robot. Dang, she just wants to stay on point. Excuse me, um... Okay, you can take it for a little while. Oh, wait. Hold on. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? For heaven's sake, Veronica, stop repeating that line. Have you given any more thought to my offer? Okay, you can take them for a little while. Thank you. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. You have lost Eddie's sen enhanced sense of purpose. Yeah, that's that's something about this. She actually decides to to take Eddie out of your party. When people have got nothing left. They can always turn to the followers. Morning. So... I don't... Howdy. Do I need advice to share? The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. Oh, do I need advice to share? Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. Um, what? Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. Feed a man a bullet, you won't hear from him again. Okay, one last thing. Good, bad. The guy with the gun makes the rules. Okay, goodbye. Yep. What's your problem, lady? Don't be mean to Veronica. I don't appreciate that tone. I appreciate how you've been helping us so far. Hello. Huh. I guess she likes short hairstyle. Looks like it looks like she had a buzz cut there. To be honest, I, it's been a while. I don't remember if Eddie returns automatically on his own, or if, or if, um, or if we're supposed to come back here and collect him. Uh, but, e but either way, we'll have to come back and, like, after a period of time. Oh, and since, I forgot, since we completed the brother. Uh oh. Yeah! Had enough? Mama told her to knock them out. Mama said, knock you out. Oh yeah. There's something else I was gonna I wanna look at while I was here. The 
families in Alvar on the ship in New Vegas were a little more than swollen trying a few years ago. Can't wait to hit the ring every night. That's me and my favorite girl. School of Impersonation. The King. Oh, the King's School of Impersonation. I want to get in here and see what's, what's in here. Look who's back. Here's 50 caps. You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Okay, and with that... A cyborg dog named Rex. Where is? All right, I'll see you later. Are we Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy, he hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Do you always charge people to come talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Fifty caps. That's pays for you. He means well, but he doesn't like strangers. Here, to make amends. Now, wow. what can I do for you? That was a nice one. I figured it might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? What do you want me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? I might have seen them. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Hmm. May I ask why you're so interested in checking this out? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Second question, why can't your men themselves look into this? I've tried, but he can smell a king a mile away. Probably knows all our faces by now. He's not a stupid man, I'll give him that. What I need is someone he won't recognize, which makes you perfect. So are you gonna take the job or what? Or what? Sure, sure, I'll take the job. Okay then, once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. 200 in bottle cap, wow. G.I. Should have brought something to read. Since this, is, this looks like it's going to be an undercover mission, might want to leave Ryan behind in just in case. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. 
I wish you'd shut up, kid, please. You need to cross Freeside. No one will keep you safer than I will. Why do I need a bodyguard crossing Freeside? Just look around. People here are as like to stab you as say hello. That is, if I weren't at your side. How much for your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. What if I'm not going to the South Gate? Sorry, but all the people with real money are heading for the Strip, so that's the way I go. You want to go somewhere else? Hire one of these losers. Fine, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't Come let them to scare you. Ralphs for they all don't your shopping you needs. To one. Okay, if they don't number you five to one, you'll be fine. That's what you're saying. The atomic wrangler has you covered. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesock till you've been to the Wrangler. Slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Geez, why that hurt me a little on your... It looked like you're a bad shot there. It didn't look like you hit them, any of them even once. Either that or I missed the time it seems like you hit the time you did hit them. Why is he faster than me all of a sudden? Gotcha. Not checking ambushes, huh? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. The only fight three shot in there are four guys over there. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or you just faked this whole thing to drum up repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. I can't bet. I step barter. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. A quick study by reveals that the thug is still alive and merely pretending to be dead. These guys are faking. This whole thing is a scam. He fakes saving people so people come back. Because it makes them look good. Well, here we are. No worse for where are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Oh god, did he actually kill someone? Return to the king and report this. 
The squatters have been more and more trouble lately. Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. What do you have for me? Oris is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and then plays hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Hey there. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk All to right. Mr. House. That's bullshit. Again. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. Sure, whatever you say, buddy. For our volunteer. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Ah, oh, shop kid. Jeez, that was loud. Drinking water provides healing, but may increase your radiation level. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Your friend looks like he's in bad shape. Yeah, the docs say he's gonna be laid up for a while, assuming he doesn't get any worse. The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Do you remember anything about the people? But what can you tell me about the attack at all? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Okay, let's... Let's get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? He did, and anything you could tell me about what happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? It doesn't really help, help too much. Well, I don't know anything else. Sorry. 
Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. Might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Time to root the mutants. Whatever. Wait, Lieutenant? That sounds like a military position. Which would sound like NCR. Hope what I remember People helps. Talking, buddy. Tell the king we thank him for looking out for us. Morning. That doesn't sound very good if the NCR or soldiers are going around picking fights with locals. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Nick. Some nut attempted to kill the head of one of Mr. House's families recently. Whoever did it is either crazy or has balls the size of Freeside. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? The local men were, were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. What can the king do for you? Talk to Julie Farkin. This building is interesting. What do you know about it? Near as I can tell, it's some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. If this was a school, what was taught here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Tell me more about it. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the King. And that's where you got the name from. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the King's House of Dog Chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. Is that what you guys do? You pretend to be this guy? Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too. Along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Alright, let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Where do you get the robotic... Oh, wait, hold on. What can you tell me about Freeside? To understand Freeside, you have to look back a few years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. House came around. He made an offer to the three biggest tribes that were willing to listen to him. Today, everyone calls those tribes the Three Families, and they live in luxury and run their own casinos in the Strip. 
The rest of us were left to fight over the crumbs, living in the shadow of those more fortunate. Things got pretty nasty for a while, but we wanted more, a place of our own, a place where no one could tell us what to do, and we didn't want to go elsewhere to find it. So we took control of this place and made it our own. That's really all Freeside is, the best of a bad situation. Tell me about the Kings. We're different than other gangs. Not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The Kings are about an idea, you see. Where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing. Where every man is a king in his own right. So why isn't every man in Freeside either in your game? We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside. But not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others. And that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Would I be able to join the kings? Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around, and if you play your cards right, things might change. I have other questions. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? What can you tell me about Pacer? Pacer? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. Who are the, who are the important people in Freeside? There's me. But I don't really like talking about myself. There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. Who all did you want to know about? Tell me about oh, oh, Julie Farkas. Julie represents the followers of the Apocalypse. They're a group that tries to help people out whenever they can, so we get along just fine. If you ever need to get patched up, one of their docks will have your riders rain in no time flat. They sell supplies, too, or used to. Heard they were having trouble bringing stuff in, or keeping up with the demand, or something lately. Did you want to know about anyone else? I'd like to hear about the Garrett twins. Them twins run the Atomic Wrangler, the only working casino here in Freeside. It's become pretty much the place to go around these parts. Give it a whirl when you've got some time. Now, was there anyone else you wanted to know about? Who are the Van Graffs? Or who were the Van Graffs considering being that I killed them? They're a family-run business from out west that deal in weapons, mostly. A word of caution, though. They're not a friendly bunch. Not at all. Their store is just past the Wrangler. He sells all kinds of fancy weapons that most people around here can't afford. Anyone else you wanted to know about? What's the skinny on Mick and Ralph? Mick and Ralph sell all sorts of things at a small store over by the East Gate. They've done all right by us, and they'll do all right by you. You want to know about anyone else? Uh, that's it. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Tell me about your robotic dog there, please. I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Is there... He doesn't seem very happy. He goes through spells like this from time to time. The followers said his brain is going bad or something. Oh no. Is there any way I could help? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. Nothing but a hound dog. All right. I'll see you later. 
talk to Julie Farkas about oh, what can be done to, for Rex. Saw a guy try to rush through the south gate a few days ago. Nothing left but dust, you know. Saw, we saw something like that ourselves when we first got here. It's kind of a demonstration of not that uh, the Securitons aren't exactly to be trifled. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Oh, shut up. I get sick of advertising in the real game. You think, think I'm gonna appreciate cryer, fictional criers in a video game trying to sell me shops or get me to go to shops or whatever? No, thank you, please. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Sorry, I was kind of in the middle of yawn there for a second. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What kind of stuff are you looking for? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Seems like you need to stay supplied, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. All right, I'll agree to you that. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Do you know anything about NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? The King thinks those troops have been attacking the locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Yes. The King said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. The king brought him here for treatment then, from the sound of it? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. So there's no chance he'll ever get better? I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry, who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Thank you, that's been very helpful. No problem. What is this place here? The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. What do you do here? The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here, but the Kings quickly took control of the pump. Who are the followers of the, the Apocalypse? We arose from the Boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. Well, that's very altruistic. Something that's not exactly the most common in the, in the wasteland. What do you want to talk Um, I'm done in having this conversation for, for a while. See you around. Hey.
Let's go talk to uh, this major over. I'm impressed with what they're doing here. Hey, you got a second? Um, yeah, what's up? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back there, first chance I get. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after me. Seriously. Okay, so we, Veronica just gave us this, a companion quest. Every character, I don't know if I talked about this before, but every companion in the game, with like what we've seen with Eddie and now we're seeing with Veronica, but every companion has a the companion quest that is that you can unlock by you spending enough time with them. Boons from from on, and every companion has a, a quest, but you need to to uh, unlock it under certain conditions. Like you need to meet certain conditions, like going to certain locations or talking to certain characters or so. so but, or like in Veronica's case, helping with, with the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, so with that, so in Boone's case, helping the NCR, for which I plan to get around to Boone eventually, but we are doing the Veronica first. Anyway, let's continue on. Aaron Kimball is a former war hero. By the current I didn't get the cat yet. Uh, I'm very hungry. Okay, that's good enough for now. Free side or... Hold up, what's the password? I don't know any password. I guess you're not getting in here then, are you? <laughs> Hold up, what's the password? I'm here to see Major or Kip on uh, urgent business. Please let me pass. If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. There we go. Here you go. I hope this helps. Wait, what's Did all this? you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Boo! Water? They feeding people here? And they have food? Let's try to keep hey. the line moving, folks. Welcome. 
There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Are you with the NCR military? Yes. Wait, I'm a major in stuff. the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Um, thanks for the food. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please, tell them about this place. Wait, hold on. Yes? Was there something else you needed? Do you serve food to the locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Um, yes. I, I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. That fiend leader shouldn't wow. have messed with our great army. Shush. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Stop peeing. Yes? Was there something else you needed? Do you serve food to locals? Wait, we yes, asked that. Like I said before, we don't. And I'm not inclined to discuss why. Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. What happened? Our envoy was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Huh? Hello. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Stop talking about... That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. That's literally the fourth time you said that in a row. Come on. Why are you taking... Why are you taking credit for it like the NCR did that? That was me. I mean... If me killing the fiends he's ended up benefiting the, the NCR, I don't really care. Or I don't mind helping the NCR at all. Oh, but like, sounds like they're taking credit for the work. Well, I don't know if they're actively spreading word to take credit or if, or, or, or if the um, people around are just as for the NCR's convenience, just attributing the work to them of automatically. Our great army, come on. They're open enrollment. Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? What's my silence worth to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. Two hundred caps. Thanks, this will keep you warm while I tell the, my story, tell this story to the king. Why, well, you li- You're just lucky I got something important to take care of. We'll settle this later. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. You guys like saying that? Please keep casting doubt. Now let's talk to the king about a couple of things. There you are. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? <laughs> Julie Farkas said, and um, oh wait, the, real quick, um, Julie Farkas said a man in Jacobstown can treat Rex. She said what? She said, Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it. I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here, and you've done some good work for me already. 
I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Give your dog to me. I'll actually see that he gets better. I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. Like what? First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Rex is giving you the search and mark perk. Search and mark. While Rex is a companion, unequipped chems, firearms, and ammunition with a short distance are highlighted when you zoom the camera. Kind of like this. Like that. See that ball right there? It glowing green like that. All right. Just, I'll see you later. It glowing green like that is Rex's perk. Makes it easy to see when you're just quickly scanning a room, as opposed to before. But anyway, let's get back to the main point. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said something. They said someone was sent to discuss this issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. <laughs> that would explain why they're all wild at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Huh? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Oh, yeah. Oh god, that's what a pacer must have been rushing towards. Empty bottle. Companions will heal themselves when they get a chance, but if you sure they live a long life, you serve use the companion to heal themselves. Oh god! See him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still. If the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Oh, turn to the king and let him know the situation with NCR has been defused. I like their outfit, so something like this is it doesn't provide too much 
It, it doesn't fry too much, King, but if you wanted to dress up like... If you wanted to dress up like that... You can. Here's your chance. But I prefer or the pragmatic... The pragmatic system of, like, having better defense, so... Back on the armor go. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Doesn't sound like he's happy. Saved him from a firefight and he doesn't sound like he appreciates it. No matter how well you he tries- something you want to say? That's how life works sometimes. No matter how much of good you try to do in the world, there's always going to be that stickler that- up. Hit. It's all over what you try to do. No matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you try, there's always going to be the people, there's always going to be people that just plain don't like what you're trying to do. And that's not just in the game either, that, that's kind of something in real life too. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what, just this once, aim whatever you want. If I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. And with that, we can get another level up. Ah, just in time. Got the, got my repair up at level to, up to nine. The at um, at level thirteen and got to level, level fourteen just in time. And one of the requirements for this poor kid, poor kid's being level fourteen. You possess the amazing ability to repair any item from using a roughly similar similar item. Fix a trail combined with a hunting rifle, well, a plasma defender with a laser pistol, or even in power armor with a bell armor. How does it work? Nobody knows, except you. The reason this is a really amazing perk that I could easily recommend to just about anyone. And the 90 repair is definitely worth it because because it's, it's especially helpful when you get more powerful items because you can it makes it really easy like some of the more the better weapons in the game like the more powerful weapons it's are limited by you know, like being it's li they're limited their power and strength the power and strength of more fa power of better weapons is balanced by by some factors along the lines of of um, of like either being very uncommon in, in or rare or just outright being a one of a kind where it's like it's the only one in the entire game you don't have a second one to repair it. So your only al alternatives are either going to someone with paying a, a specific characters to repair the item for you, which can easily become very pricey. The easily costing thousands of caps per per repair per repair or depending on the, like the lower the condition of the weapon the, the more it's going to cost obviously that or you have to buy and or craft weapon repair kit kids items that repair your 
items that repair your, your currently equipped weapon. Okay. Okay, but it's like, well, you have to really put a lot of effort into. I, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think anyone specifically sells them. How are you feeling, boy? Um, I don't think anyone sells weapon repair kits. It's that crap, which means the only alternative is like, if I'm not, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think anyone, anyone, I'm still working on getting fixed. I want to take a closer look at you. Oh, um, so your only option is to craft the, um, is to craft the, the weapon repair kits, but it requires a bunch of parts that, a bunch of parts that, like, you have to, a bunch of parts that craft on it, you have to put serious effort to get them, so. Jury Rig makes you, makes it so that you can, can easily repair uncommon or rare weapons with, with, um, you can, you can repair uncommon or rare weapons with, you can repair them with very common weapons, which means it's easy to maintain and upkeep them. Anyway, let's look at Rex. Examine Rex's mechanical parts. Rex's body is battered, scorched. I didn't catch that. Okay, you can pause the video to look at these if you want. Examine Rex's brain case. His brain looks sick and pain looks. Scorched and scratches remark on the bio gel. Uh, his biological machine survived it all. Very looks sickly and the gentleman which is contained. He doesn't look much better. Let's look at the the painting of the bowl on Rex's side. The painting, although the weather and painting is still recent. It is a recent addition to Rex's body. Stop and examine. Goodbye. <laughs> There's the bowl. Wait. To me, or does that look like... It looks vaguely similar to... Who, uh... Caesar's Legion. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. Now, another point that I want to make is that, um, is that, in, like I said before, in the game you can have, you can only have one human companion, and one non-human companion. And up to this point, Eddie has been our, our non-human companion. And, and, up to this, um, so, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to figure out how to say this, not why I'm stammering like an idiot. Um, there's only two non-human companions in the entire game. Okay. All the other companions are humans. They're humanoid. And Eddie was the first of two. Rex here is the second. And in, in a way, Rex and Eddie are kind of opposites. Eddie being you know, a floating iBot robot is equipped with a laser and isn't really made for for, for close range combat. He doesn't he doesn't have any ability to Let's work on Veronica. It's nice that it would be to get Rex going. We've had Veronica for a while. Let's do her request. Okay. Let's do her request, or at least set it, or get close to doing it. But still, Rex and Eddie are kind of opposite. It's where Eddie is made for mid. Eddie and his laser or blaster or are made for, for mid to long range combat, whereas 
Rex here is exclusively is exclusively a melee fight. Being a dog, he, being a dog, he he has to run towards his enemies to fight them. Whereas in, as whereas Eddie has to stay back and fire at them. I want to get close to to in here, but I'm thinking I'm going to end the episode, end this episode here, or, and start Veronica's quest on the next episode. So, so we have something to Evening. something to start or the something to start the something to start the next episode properly on. But in the meantime, let's talk to Veronica one last time before we get there. Um, What's up? I have some questions I wanted to ask you. It's a free wasteland. Huh. She wanted to talk like then, but she doesn't have anything to do to say now. Or... Uh, it pays... How do you feel about the other members? I called them family before. That's not far off. Both the good and the bad. It's like a big, unending family reunion in that bunker. There's people you love, people you'll never speak to again, and it's always awkward when you run into someone you used to date. Oh, okay, so I Okay. All right. Darn it! I had some spectacular answers coming too. Okay. Goodbye. See you around. And with that, let's keep up the good work, outsider. McNamara's done a pretty good job, given the situation he was handed. Even though Harden. But see, it's weird things like that, that it makes it weird when, how it, it makes, it makes the things you do when the game feel kind of unacknowledged. Harden to become elder and people or or still talking about McNamara like he's the one still in charge. But with that, this is, much rocks, but this has been, you know, Fallout New Vegas. Please tell me what you think below of the, the kings and such. Oh, what do you think of the kings and their relationship with the NCR? Or and I know we're already right here about to do Veronica's quest, and I know we said we're going to start the next episode. We're not sure, but tell me what you think down below. Who, even though we're already right here about to do Veronica's quest. Is, do you want to, me to start on Veronica's quest first? Hey, because, Torres. Do you want me to start on Veronica's quest first and focus on her first? Or do you want me to do Rex's quest just first? Although, some for some reason I feel like... Like, I already know the answer is going to be... I have a feeling that the answer is going to be in Veronica's quest first, but... But still, I'm... I might as well I'll end this episode on giving everyone the opportunity to voice their, their opinion it's real quick see they see what can be done but anyway thank you so much for watching this has been following new Vega. just you know where the comment section is and, and until next time i'll see you guys around thanks for watching